Okay, I want to show what's in the box. Uh, we got a storm case. This is a dual mag, uh, auto feed mag. The battery's inside here. You plug it in here. This is a six volt NIM battery. Uh, it's plugged into this. The connector's under here. It goes through this little plug and goes in. And this is the button to feed it. Uh, I guess I could show that. Plug it in real quick for you guys. Uh, and when you put it in there, it feeds. Now I am going to put some two O's in there and see how it feeds. Uh, you get two 50 round metal uh, low caps. They're not high caps, they're low caps. It comes with a battery box, a grip, and a red dot. Now the original red dot is still in the box. The original box that I have. It's still in there and the other side cover that was on this side is in there as well. I did it this way because I could charge the battery up without actually taking it right off the taking the gun all apart and trying to get it in there. Plus it fit a 7.4 lipo. That's all you want to put in this. You do not want to run anything higher than that. You can try but you might burn the gun up. Okay next thing you got this came with the gun. This is the end that goes on there. It's a little nub and here was the original orange tip that was on here. Uh, I actually got it off there. I got a loudener for it, okay, in case you want to make it pop. And I had at one time three of these, okay. I sold the other two, uh, one with another MP5 that I had and another with another MP5 that I had. At one time I counted I had 12 MP5s here, so this was the only TM. Now this one, the little gotcha on this is the nozzle uh, clip is broke off the top here, so you can open this up, fill the BBs up, and then when you're ready to use it, put it in the gun and then wind it. And it goes only one way, winds up, there's 400 rounds going this, feeds like a champ from this. I'm probably going to put the two O's in here and probably in the uh, auto feed mag and maybe one of the other mags to fire. I want to show you that they're safe, or f f semi, full auto. Okay, I did mention the grip, it folds out so you can hold on to it and it is a folding stock. So I'm going to go outside and do a little shooting with it and see how it goes and I'm going to take the camera along with me. Okay, um, from this position there's a black line here. That shed is almost 200 feet. Okay, but this little green shed that's on the left right over here, okay, that's about maybe 50 feet, 55 feet. Um, there's a reason I don't use these kind of guns anymore. It hurts my shoulder. I was just trying to shoot it and it's hurting my shoulder right now. So uh, I have what's left of the 50 round mag in here. I was test firing it on semi. So I'm going to shoot the green door. That's it for that mag. And I have to show this on video. There's a very positive, there's an extended mag release right here that and it'll pop right out and that was the last two BBs out of there. So that's 50 rounds in there. So what I'm going to do, shoot a couple of semis and I want to show this on video too. It's a very positive lock on there too. So we're back to semi again. And we're going to do a full auto. Okay, that's the end of the mag there. I want to show something on video too. Right here is the hop up. It's a slide hop up, sort of like a VSR 10. That's the old style TM hop ups used to be like that on the side. Like I mentioned before, on this particular drum, as you can see, I don't have it wound up yet. Very solid clip into the gun. Now I'm going to wind the crap out of this. And I'm going to let it go till it clicks. I, did, I just put two O's in these, so there. I wound it. It hasn't clicked yet. Basically, this is a, a big high cap. All right, so we're going to start shooting semi. And full auto up to the metal building. Now we're going to wind this up a little bit more. I'm going to go back to the small building. 
and that's it. And the drum's about empty on that, so it's not too bad. Added note on this is this mag has a window here which I had to glue shut because it broke. But this slides forward, these these bullets. Well, I thought they're supposed Oh, they slide back. I'm sorry, my bad. They slide back like this, and you can fill the BBs there, and it's good. And as you see, they come up right to the top. Okay, we're going to start shooting at the little shed. And we're going to switch to full and shoot to the big shed. Okay, that didn't feed. And it broke. So that ends the gun. So I'm going to finish the video up. Um, sounds like the gun shredded the piston. Did something else internally. Locked up the motor. Could be a dozen different things. It is an old gun after a while. I bought it back in 2008. So I can't sell it. Um, just thought I'd let you know. I'm going to box it back up and throw it back upstairs. So Sorry about that guy. Just an FYI. I did check the motor, I took it out of the grip and it does run, so something in the gearbox is locked up. Either a broken tooth, broken piston, something like that. Now you got to remember, this is not like an MP, normal MP5s. You don't take the two pins out and you take the lower off. This whole thing is a clamshell, it splits in half, so it's very tough to work on. Uh, it was a very piss poor design in my opinion, but a lot of the MP5s that came out in the early 2000s, in late 2000s, uh, were like that right up until like 2010, 2012. And then they started doing the single uh, gearbox coming out because my original uh, Echo 1 that I had had two gearboxes, one like a CQB gearbox and one an outdoor gearbox. I had two of those. And uh, my Saima blowback, electronic blowback, that had a, a gearbox you could take the two pins out and drop it out. It was pretty cool. My ICSs that I had. They were the same way. This is the only one I had that has a clamshell design. So you take the stock off, you take the front off, you got to take all the stuff apart on the front, all this, and then you got to split this and then hope you can get it all back together when it's all done. Um, it was a uh, challenging the first time I tried it to put a new bucking in it. So that's where it's at. Sorry, bud.